Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, you episode on how to. Today I'm gonna to show you how to reset your WordPress to the original installation. So if you made any mistakes and you don't want to start from the beginning, there is a simple way where you can actually reset the WordPress with everything and return to the original installation. So without any ado, just let's go back to our dashboard and let's get started. As you can see here, I already got a website installed that I have already installed for this website. We have all the medias in the media library and we have pages and posts. So without going on every single pages and posts, I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go into plugins and you want to add a new plugin and you want to search for advanced database reset. Once the search is completed, this is the actual plugins you want to install. We're going to install it now. And we're going to activate it. Your next step is once as it's been activated is to go to media. Now, before you, we proceed, I want to make sure you understand once it's been done, it's irreversible. So, you know, it cannot be brought back unless you have a copy. So what you can do, you just create a copy. I'll leave a link below on how on this uh, tutorial on how to create your own uh, backups. So after that, we go to library. We're going to click on the icon lists is the first icon here. And we're going to delete all the medias. So all the images are going to be deleted. Once that's been done, we go into plugins. Again, we want to make sure that the actual uh, plugins has been installed properly. We go into tools, advanced WordPress reset. We're going to type reset and we're going to reset the database. It depends how big is your website. It should really take long. The actual reset has been completed. Now the next step doesn't matter where you're going to click in this uh, menu here on the dashboard. You're going to be logged out and you need to log back in again. So I'm going to press on dashboard. I'm going to put my credential again. And as you can see, the plugin has worked. Awesome. The plugin advanced DB reset just helped you reset the database for a fresh installation. All right. So when I go to the main page and I do control F5. So as you can see, I know from the main page, once we refresh the page, we have the hello world first page and it's a fresh installation as you know and everything is returned to the original state of the installation of wordpress nothing has been installed as you can see here but at the same time all the plugins you add are still available just in case you want it if you don't really want it it's very simple you deactivate the advanced WordPress reset, you're going to click the lot and you can actually delete that if you don't need it. But if you do, you still have all the actual plugins installed. So guys, thanks again for uh, following this simple tutorial and I'll see you next time for a new exciting tutorial. And don't forget to like and share my videos.